Today I'm going to install and test a uh, TP-Link CASA uh, smart Wi-Fi light that supports Matter. Hello, I'm Blake, a professional innovator and designer in pursuit of the invisible smart home. Water leak alert. <laughs> Is Matter the future of the smart home? I had a number of choices when I decided to try out this Matter device. I could have went with Z-Wave, which normally would be my first choice, Zigbee as my second, and as a third choice, Wi-Fi, but I always try to avoid Wi-Fi. Um, so yes, I think Matter is the future of the smart home. Um, in this case, it was a, a, you know, a third of the price of a Zigbee device. Um, well, let me clarify that. I think it's the future of the smart home for smart home DIYers, um, DIY types. Um, I'll talk about in a minute OEM and manufacturers and maybe you know, representing uh, my business, uh, Eaglenet, you know, where Matter might fit in. For DIYers um, that could choose um, you know, Z-Wave, Zigbee, uh, Wi-Fi, or some other pri uh, proprietary uh, solution, maybe uh, the Lutron Cassetta, that's a cool solution. Um, that, and even that can integrate with smart things, so that would solve my problem. But, you know, that's more expensive, and, um, and it doesn't really work with uh, as many uh, hubs and devices. With Matter, you know, once they start to, uh, more devices start to come out and they get the they get organized and things work the first time. They've still got some hiccups to, to deal with. Um, I really think it's a it's something that um, DIYers are just going to be it's just going to be their first choice because of price and because of compatibility. Um, so we just need to get more manufacturers on board. Now, myself as a manufacturer, we have a Z-Wave device, uh, you know, our Bulldog uh, Valve. Should I make a new version of the uh, Bulldog Valve and use the newest and latest greatest Z-Wave or should I make a Matter uh, version? Well, I think I'm going to go with the Matter version. Uh, from, the, uh, from an OEM perspective, you know, people like Alarm.com, uh, security systems stuff, they support Z-Wave. Should they st start supporting Matter as well? I don't see that happening as soon. Uh, they're going to resist that. They're, they're a big machine and they've made a lot of investments in, in uh, Z-Wave. And perhaps there's some things going on in Z-Wave that, uh, you know, will make it more competitive with Matter. I understand they're coming out with um, uh, long distance versions of uh, Z-Wave uh, protocols. I guess we'll see uh, what uh, rounds out. But uh, for now, my, uh, my investments in the future, both for my corporation and for my home DIY, are probably going to be mostly in Matter uh, devices. It's nice and uh, kind of unusual that I received this in a, uh, it wasn't a box in a box, it was just a label on it, chipped, so I guess that's good for the environment. I bought it from Amazon and this is a, a three pack, but I'm just going to install one today and show it to you uh, working. Hopefully it'll connect with my smart things using the Matter uh, protocol. I have my suspicions it might not, but we're going to find out. One, looks like the screwless uh, plates, two, three, and some more connectors and some screws, the, uh, the matter stickers for scanning quick start guys and then I guess we can label some wires with their labels hmm. I already don't like that it doesn't have a double toggle there's only the bottom so it's a single so ideally it would be a toggle for the on at the top and a toggle for off at the bottom so if you didn't know the condition of the light because you couldn't see it, you would toggle the top knowing that it's going to come on if it's not already on, and you would toggle the bottom knowing it would go off if it's, if it's already off. But in this case, you have to use the same toggle, so that's not great. Before I get to the installation, I just wanted to talk about the different protocols I considered. So I'm replacing a Z-Wave switch that uh, is 
kind of clicking when it's not supposed to be. Mostly I'm trying to get stuff connected to my Smart Things Hub. That's kind of my main app. I try to connect as much stuff directly as possible, and that starts with Z-Way first, Zigbee second, Wi-Fi if I have to, and Wi-Fi indirectly if I have to through another app. If there's some Wi-Fi device that works with, uh, you know, Smart Life or Akara, um, you know, I will connect it to the that app and then connect it to Smart Things. Which brings me to Matter. So I like the idea of Matter because it works. It's supposed to work universally with all those devices, and it can connect uh, directly uh, to Smart Things. Um, it's still kind of a new product, so I'm not sure if this is actually going to work with smart things, although they said it uh, will, but uh, we're going to find out. Okay, as a reminder, if you're not experienced uh, doing electrical work, you should consult a professional um, because you can cause serious injury or even death if you don't know what you're doing with uh, even 120 volts. All right, so first you need to turn off the uh, breaker at the panel. And I marked it and I tested this earlier with the help of my uh, wife upstairs yelling <laughs> when it uh, went off. So first we need to turn off the breaker. This is the switch that we're uh, working on. If there was a uh, second or third switch in this same area, you would double check internally to make sure the power is not off, uh, is off and all entirely in the entire box. In some cases there might be a second breaker you have to turn off. You can see it needs the uh, this uh, Z-Wave version. Needed the neutral. All right, there's the culprit that has been clicking. I had trouble with this for years, so I'm glad to be uh, replacing it. All right, so I got the ground connected, and let's connect the uh, neutral. And the line. Probably should use a bigger MAR connector here, but it seems to be working okay. All right, so I'm going to tuck it all back in there. All right, so I turned the power back on, and before I tuck it in there, let's just see if it looks like it's working. All right, so that light's blinking. I'm not sure if that's a good sign or a bad sign, but I should be able to turn off and on the outside light here. And uh, that seems to be working, so I probably got the load wire uh, correct. It wasn't very clear on the back of it which was the load wire, so that seemed to work out. So let's just get these final screws in and get it tucked in there. All right, so I'm not going to put the, uh, the cover plate on because I have to customize it because it's so close to the uh, trim of the door here. All right, let's get to the, uh, the pairing process. All right, so it came with the uh, three barcodes which match up to individually each one and the barcode does matter. There's a number on here that matches the number on the barcode, and I'm going to use that barcode to scan for this. Scan QR code. All right, I'm going to try again. Scan QR code. I managed to get it to connect after a couple tries. Um, I even connected it to the uh, CASA app and thought maybe the switch needed a firmware update, but I don't think that fixed it. And then I disconnected it from the CASA app. And then I just reset the uh, switch as a reset kind of underneath here, a little button. I reset it and then tried again and it works. So now it's in my SmartThings app, directly paired and I can turn it off and on. So that's very cool. So the three pack was only uh, $54 Canadian. I have All right, so I have it installed and uh, working. It took a couple tries to get the, uh, the unit paired, but it paired as a matter device. And in the end, I didn't need to connect it with the CASA, uh, the TP-Link CASA app. So that's cool. So what do I like and what I don't like about it? Uh, I guess first, 
what I don't like is, uh, and really the only thing I can I don't like about it that's major is the way the switch works. Uh, the way they've designed the mechanics of the switch, you can't really tell if you don't see the light if you're turning it off or on. But what did I like? Well, first, a three pack was only $54 Canadian. And it came the next day. I ordered from Amazon.ca. It happened to be in my Canadian home. But there's similar pricing available on Amazon.com. So that's very good pricing. What I liked about it most was the fact that it's a matter device and it paired directly with smart things. Um, that's very cool. So now I can add it to my uh, automations and my schedules. And if I want, I can connect it to uh, Google Home and Amazon Alexa. And uh, because it works with Matter, it'll work with uh, any device or any uh, hub out there now that uh, supports Matter, in theory. All right, that's it. So uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and uh, look for my next video. Cheers.